cuts from the streets up in Houston, Texas? Wait a minute. I know it's about to go down. From the streets, yeah. Up in Houston, Texas. Cuts from the streets, yeah. Up in Houston, Texas. Cuts from the streets, yeah. Up in Houston, Texas. Cuts from the streets, yeah. Up in Houston, Texas. Cuts from the streets, yeah. Up in Houston, Texas. Cuts from the streets, yeah. Up in Houston, Texas. Cuts from the streets, yeah. I've been Houston, Texas. Cuts from the streets, yeah. I've been Houston, Texas. Film crew coming to you. It's a 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 film crew. We out here for our people Showing God's ways is a little more deeper We want to hear what you have to say From black history to Sabbath day So we might be ready, geared up at Mikey Listening to hard souls and psychic Hitting South Park to that fifth war Introducing God's word and that's that song Don't be surprised in the film crew Just come right over for your interview To see what you know if you got a clue When done you know what we say is true From Christ man black to God's holy day Lord, will you change from wicked ways Hey Islam is real most high Christ blessed is Houston Camp cuts from the streets. So we are here today we're gonna ask our people about Black History Month. Of course because they say February is Black History Month. Not knowing it ain't just fair where that our history that we should think about our history, man. That's right. So we're gonna show them in the scriptures that our history is in the Bible. Yeah. And that the first creator of black history is of the Holy Bible as well. Keep going. We wanna know why people celebrate black history. We wanna also know why haven't our people been taught their true history. And we out here just to show our people and give them more a little bit more depth. That their history started with the Holy Bible first and foremost. Right. So yeah, ready? Let's go teach our people. Man. That's yeah, right. Let's go. Hey, Shalom. I'm here with Mike. Right, brother Mike. Yeah. Okay, I'm here with brother Mike, and today we're going to be asking him about Black History Month. So, where did Black History Month come from? It came from the white man, actually. I think it was kind of like a. Uh, some type of, uh, I guess, gift that they wanted to try to give us during civil rights to so-called shut, shut up the unaware Negro. So they came up with 28 days and said, hey, you know, this is y'all, boy. Okay, so they gave us. Shalom, Most High Christ blessed. The Soldier Judah, IURC Houston, cuts from the streets. And I have with me today. Cardell Nico. Our brother Cornell with me today. And uh, we're going to ask him some questions concerning Black History Month. Okay, uh, Cordell, how you doing today? I'm doing all right, sir. Okay, well, I want to ask you a couple questions about Black History Month. What does Black History Month mean to you? Um, it's a month where, you know, it's a, uh, about a lot of stuff that a lot of black people did in our history that, uh, like, pretty much changed a lot of stuff in the world, pretty much. So we have here with me today, we got Christopher. And we're going to ask Christopher a couple of questions about black history. So, first of all, Christopher, what does black history mean to you? It means our, our basically our overcoming of mm, the white man, something like that. Okay. Our, our coming over uh, anything that been putting us down that we've used to overcome ourselves and give ourselves our own our own strength within black people as a whole. Okay. Shalom, Israel. This is Soldier Sirach, and we out here with Charles. We out here with Brother Charles, and we out here asking our people. What is Black History Month to them? So let me ask you, Brother Charles, what is Black History Month to you, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I guess it's just simply a month that uh, the government has chosen to use uh, to recognize black people. Black people. Shalom. I'm Soldier Samuel, and I'm with... Yolanda. I'm with Yolanda, and this is IUIC Cuts from the Streets. So, Miss Yolanda, let me ask you a question. What do black history mean to us as a people? Uh, as a people... 
Well, it's our history. It helps us uh, define who we are, um, how we approach life, and how we live in this America. Um, remembers our ancestors, the struggles that they went through um, to help create an environment or try to create a better environment for us here on this earth. Okay. All right. So I'm Samaka here with. Tim. All right. I'm here with Tim. And Tim, I was going to ask you a few questions about black history. So you say you know a little bit about black history, right? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so what you know about? I had my rich came packed away for us, all the parks. Okay. How you doing? This is Soldier Jasper. This is IUIC Houston, Cuts from the Streets. We are here with my brother. Masseline. 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 All right, we with my brother Masseline. And we're just going over a couple of questions about black history. So, what does black history mean to you, Masseline? Well, I learned stuff about uh, our heritage. Okay. That's my, that's how it's been okay. All right, all right. So, Shalom, Most High Christ Bless. I'm Soldier Samuel, and I'm with Cathay. I'm with Cathay, and this is IUIC Cuts from the Streets. How you doing, Miss Cathay? I'm doing good. Just what we're doing out here on the streets is we out here to come talk to our people a little bit about Black History Month. Mm -hmm. So can you give me your insight on Black History History Month and what it, it means to you? Black History Month, is, it doesn't mean a lot to me because every day is Black History. Um, it's not even Black History, it's just history in itself because I'm color that I am because I'm a dark skinned person. But at the end of the day, I look at my ancestors, I look at everybody in history in order to guide me further. So no month is just a Black History Month. It's every day for me. Okay, okay, that's nice to hear that. That's nice to hear that. This is Soldier Ciroc and I'm with G. I'm with G, Brother G out here. And let me ask you a question. What is Black History Month to you, Brother G? All about the black folks. All about the black folks. Hey, so hey. let me get let me pick your brain a little bit here. Have you heard of black history in the Bible? Um, no, I have not heard of black history in the Bible. Well so, where can you find black history at? Oh you can find black history. Think about it. You can find uh, Black History with the peanut. You can find Black History with the uh, stoplight. You can find Black History when you walk into buildings. Uh, I mean, you can just find Black History just anywhere when you look around. All right, great, great. I like that. So, what you kind of went into was um, Black Inventors. So, can you name a uh, Black Inventor? Can you name one Black Creator? Malcolm X, a black creator. Not necessarily. What did he create, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, shit. Fight the wife. Uh, can you name a black inventor? Mm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm bad with names. I'm bad with names? Yeah, but I, I know a lot of inventions, though, like the printing press, the uh, brush and comb, but that's been by black men. By black female. Uh, shampoo, conditions already. Uh, so, um, do you know any black inventors? In person? Yes, sir. Have you ever read about one? So, I'm gonna run off something to you that we're seeing right now. We're downtown Houston. So, if you look at the traffic light, uh, Garrett Morgan made that. One of the black inventors. His name Garrett Morgan. Um, the street sweeper that they they clean up the streets with. They use that. Charles B. Brooks. He used that. Another black inventor. Um, I like this one, the egg beater. You know, we always like to eat yeah. <laughs> the egg beater. You know, some scrambled eggs. Willie Johnson. <laughs> that sounds like a brother. Willie. Come on, Willie. I cook these eggs. <laughs> so Willie Johnson is the uh, creator of the egg beater. We got a got couple it. of people. You said the hair brush. Yeah. Uh, Linda O. Newman. That's who made that. All right. All right. So we, you can find black inventors in the history that they did the things like it back in 1926 and you know 1800s things like that so that's about the black inventor now the history of black people what if i told you you could also find it in the bible what would you say about that oh, i agree very much so uh, do you know uh black history is actually recorded in the bible uh no sir would you do you think our book our history is in the bible yes sir black history start with slavery yeah did black history start with slavery maybe the black history that we remember here in, in, in America, but no, black history is, is thousands of years old. <laughs> okay, okay. Right. Uh, is black history in the Bible? Um, it, it is, you know, to look for it. 
but they don't really uh, define it. All right, so what if I tell you the first black inventors in the Bible? Right. Yeah, you didn't know that? Well, that black History Month is really is something that our oppressors taught us somewhat, but we're also out here showing our people that black history started before uh, slavery, and black history is really in the Bible. The Holy Bible is black history. But now Jesus is black, right? Yes, ma'am. Jesus Christ is black. Okay, and so then that's not even black history. That's just black, right? You know, probably about six months ago, I probably didn't agree, but I'm a fact checker. So what I did, I heard you up there talking. So I went on the internet and I started looking. When I got me a 1611 uh, 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 King James version, I started to read the apocryphy. I started listening to uh, videos of Flat Earth. Right. And I started being aware. My eyes started opening up. So I started reading Deuteronomy uh, 28, 15 through all the way up. So then I, I became convinced. Because right. It was the truth. Right. So, uh, so can I show you some black history in the Bible? All right. So let me get a reader. Let me get Deuteronomy 28 and 68. So let me ask you something, Chris. If you know anything about black folks' history, um, how did we come over here to America? By ship. By ship, right? Okay, so let's see what the scripture says about how we got over here, all right? Yes, sir. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And no man shall buy you. So you see that? You said... How we got over here? By, ship. By ships, right? Hey, now I want to show you the slave ships. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. You know the history about the Israelites and uh when they went to when they was in Egypt? No, I never. Well when they was in Egypt, they was in slavery. So we came from the land of Israel. You can walk from Israel to um Egypt, for example. That bank right there. Me and you can literally walk over there, right? And we can walk back. So why would we need a ship to go back somewhere that we walked at? We wouldn't need a ship because me and you can walk back over there. So I'm going to show you what Exodus was synonymous to uh, in Deuteronomy. Read what you got. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Come on. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What is Egypt? Read it again. Pay attention when he say out of Egypt. See what he say after that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What's Egypt? The house of bondage. What's another word for bondage? Think about it. Bondage. You constrain. Look at that picture. What's that called? You got chains on our neck, we in bondage. Slavery. There you go, slavery. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Now you know what Egypt means. Remember, we walked out, so now we need ships. So, if it, so now you know it means slavery, the house of bondage. So when he say bring it back to Egypt, think about slavery. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Going to slavery again with what? With ships. With slave ships. Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Just the way Moses prophesied. He said, if we break the commandments, we're going to slavery on ships. Now this during the time of Moses, thousands of years ago. But this happened to me and your ancestors today. Read. Thou shalt not see it no more again. What's up with homeland? Israel, you got it. Okay, go ahead. Thou shalt not see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto your enemies. You say we shall be sold to our enemies. What nation of people was we sold to over here in the Americas? What people had us put chains on? Which people had us in slavery? Which dominates America today? The who? So what do God call them? Enemies. Yeah, what? Enemies. So the same people had us in bondages are what? Enemies. That's what God called them. Not me, but God called them our enemies. Read. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. Bond women. And no man shall buy you. Meaning no man shall redeem you. Like we had Martin Luther King, which is one of our uh, great brothers who paved the way for a lot of things. But he couldn't redeem us from the situations we're in. So we're going to identify uh, that history did and in fact start with the Holy Bible beyond anything. Okay, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 32 uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters Shall be given unto another people 
So it's like thy sons and thy daughters shall be given it to another people. Yeah. Who did that? Who did that event happen to? Uh, uh, us, black people. <laughs> exactly. So Moses saying, okay, to the children of Israel, if y'all break God's commandments, these curses, and one of the curses is read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. You say that your sons and daughters are going to be given to another people. That happened to us in the translating slave trade. Yeah. And, and, and before then, that's just uh, what our people know today because of the school uh, systems, what they teach us in school. So we know for a fact that that's uh, in the Bible. So black history did start in the, with the Bible. So Moses is saying these curses are going to fall upon one particular people. And this this happened in our history, letting you know this Bible is our history book. So we reading slavery in the Holy Bible. Uh, jump to verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It say again with ships. So the children of Israel went into bondage again with ships. How did we get here on Amer to America? We got here on ships. So I'm just showing you right here that the Holy Bible is black history. You understand? I can identify. You, you understand? I can identify. Okay, so because then. knowing your history is good. Um, and knowing, you know, the inventors, that's wonderful because a lot of people don't know that. But let's see what the scripture says about us, okay. our people, and the things that we should do with our black history, not only just that month, but with our history. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord in his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the heaven. Oh, all right, so he give me Job 8 and 8. So th these are things that we're commanded to do when we know our history, just like you went into Deuteronomy 28, 15, all the curses, that's our history of the things that we didn't do because we didn't obey God. So that's a part of our history. Everybody didn't serve Deuteronomy 28, 48, right? Yeah, 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 I totally agree. Okay, let me get another one. Um, give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, because when the ch children of Israel came on this side of the world, how did they get here? Uh, on ships. On ships, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to read that. And it's going to show you that we came over here on the translated slave sh ships. Okay? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. With ships. <laughs> so the Bible is letting us know. In the time of Moses, Moses prophesying these things to the children of Israel, letting them know these things are going to happen to you. So today in society, we look at Black History Month and most of our people think that sla I mean, slavery was the beginning of our history. Right. But Moses, way thousands of years ago, prophesied that, th that the children of Israel was going to go into slavery. So the book of Deuteronomy 28 is a book of identity, letting them know who this Bible is. Um, why haven't, why don't you think they haven't taught? Me and you, who we really are, where we come from, our true nationality, and why they see they call us African Americans, we come from Africa, but why haven't they taught us truly who we are? Like they haven't told us we Israelites, they haven't told us our homeland, they haven't told us where we come from. Do you have any idea why they haven't taught us our true history? Because at school they teach us what? European history. All these things that had nothing to pertain to us, but then they give us one month to show us a few good inventions, which we made, which we, you know, we built the whole country anyway. So why do you think they haven't taught us our true history in the school systems? Um, I had to guess maybe because like black people are like more dominant, and maybe because like like we're, we're so, like we're, we're probably, we stand out pretty much from everybody pretty much, and maybe we like t some type of have like being special pretty much like held as being special pretty much to them, and they don't want us to know about that pretty much. Okay, Judah, let me read this scripture to you, Judah five and twenty, because you're hitting on the line, Judah five and twenty. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse 20. This is what the other nations understand about us. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people and they sin against their God. Meaning if we break the commandments God gave us, right? Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This shall be our ruin. Remember, if we break the commandments, what's going to happen? 
curses are going to be up on us. By them understanding who we are in our true history is the reason why they want to teach us that. Because if they teach us that, we keep the commandments, meaning what? We'll get blessed. We'll come up high. Yeah. So if you're an enemy, if I'm your enemy, I wouldn't teach you things that will bring you above me. Yeah. I'm going to teach you things that's going to keep me on top of you. Right. Exactly. Read. And let us go up. And we shall overcome them. See that? But if there be any no iniquity in their nation, if we do not sin against our God, let my Lord now pass by, lest their Lord defend them, and their God be for them, and we become a reproach before all the world. So that's what it was going to. Basically, you know, if we keep the commandments, this this the end of this kingdom. So that's a re another reason why they want to teach just to prove that they know who we are. So, so Chris, why don't you think they teach us our history according to the scriptures? Uh, I believe it's uh, they they see us as a threat. But it says in the Bible that we're, we're bigger and greater than them, so they try to bring us down below them so they can be over us. Okay, I like that. I like that. You know what? Give me Judah. I like that. Judah 5 and 17. Because he said that we greater, right? All right. And also, like, if we're dealing with the Most High God, that's how we prosper. You see that? And the scripture's going to tell us that. Watch this. The book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 17. And whilst they sin not before their God. See, if we don't sin against the Most High God, that's how we're going to be prosperous. And the scripture going to tell us, right? But if we go against it, you know, we're going to fail, right? So watch what the scripture says. Read it again. And whilst they sin not before their God, they prosper. Because the God that hated iniquity was with them. See, he, the, says, the scripture says he hated iniquity. Iniquity is sin, according to the scriptures, right? He reads us. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them. That's what we messed up. When we departed from God, read. They were destroyed in many battles. They was what? They were destroyed in many battles. That's how we fail from grace. You see that? All praise to the Most High. So, Have you ever heard this before in your life? Uh, yeah, my life. You heard that? Not coming from the Bible, just... You know, my little king and that from the Bible now, like how he, how he didn't, like out my mind. Okay, I'll pray. Okay, so that's what we're out here doing. We're showing our people that black history is just not in the month. Who started Black History Month? It was a guy by the name of Carlton G. Woodson. Is that right? Yes. Carlton G. Woodson. He started that in 1926. So that's how I derived from him. Doing it for a week and it turned into a month. You see what I'm saying? But we should not only learn about it in February. Watch this. Give me that one in Job real quick. Oh, you got it? The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. Hold that one real quick. Give me 8 and 8. Chapter 8, verse 8. So our history didn't just start in 1926. Or we shouldn't just study ourselves in just one week or one month. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. The book of Job, chapter 8. Verse 8. Mm -hmm. For inquire, I pray thee. So he was telling you, Tim, I'm I'm praying or I'm asking for you to inquire or to look into. Of the former age and prepare thyself to the search of thy father. So he's telling you search out your history. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I hold up your flyer again. I'm going to keep referring back to this flyer because this is going home with you. Because I want you to go back and realize what we're telling you and reading out of the Bible. You got this form to go back home and to study. So he said, I require you to look into your former age, into your forefathers, the things that they went through. So if you're going to do that, the Bible questioned that and told you to do that. That's why the scriptures are on here. And now it's up to you to go and inquire and find out. You understand that, Tim? Yes, sir. So uh, let me ask you. Man, I be tripping, man. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Shalom. Cuss from the street. How you are, see Houston. And man, we just got through dealing with our people. They know a little bit of our history. Who they name? Like Malcolm X and Marcus God, you know, things like that. But man, Martin Luther King, they got a long way to go, man. Because it's more than just one week or one month that we should be thinking about our history. Right. We should be thinking about our history all year coming out of that Bible because some of our people, man, they lost out here and destroyed. Yeah. It was amazing to find out that our people know a little about history in terms of slavery, how we got here. What they did not know it was actually recorded in the scriptures and they did not know what was our true nationality, what we was called before slavery, before black history. Right. Like it says in Jeremiah, we were discontinued from our heritage. We 
discontinued from the things that the Bible told us to do. So we had to show our people what we're supposed to be doing out here. Right, right. Hosea 4 and 6 say we destroy from a lack of knowledge. So that lack of knowledge we lack it is the Holy Bible, the true black history that we can get the understanding from. Yeah, right. that Bible our history book, man. Right. And we're gonna continue to ask our people about this Bible year round. That's All praise. And with that, we say shalom. 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 Bless. Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.